We've got another developer update from Flashing Lights. So you guys know my channel is centered around police video games, first responder video games, and this is an upcoming one. We're not gonna know if the game is any good or not until we actually get our hands on some gameplay. However, I do like to cover updates to games, trailers, etc., to keep you guys informed. So, Flashing Lights, it is self-described as a multiplayer game about emergency services for PC, Mac, and Linux, and they plan to release on Steam. We don't have a release date yet. However, they are posting blog updates about what they're working on and where they're kind of at in the development process. The latest update was posted on January 25th and it is a developer blog about some of the stuff they've been working on lately including traffic lights, parking tickets, and a quick update on the art style of the game. First off, they mention about the traffic AI. They've been working on the AI to get them to stop at stoplights Previously, they mentioned they were having a problem with a pileup of stationary vehicles blocking traffic. So they've been working on that. You guys know that AI is a huge component to a game. And when we see the AI mess up in GTA, GTA 5 frequently, it's, it's a big headache trying to uh, role play and play realistically. So that is something they've been working on. Also, they've been working on synchronization of a traffic light system. So the game's going to be online and they want all the traffic lights to sync up. So if one, if player A sees a red light, they want player B to also see a red light as well. That just makes for a much smoother experience in my opinion as well. Continuing on, they mention a section about parking. When loading the game, they want each session to have cars placed in various parking spots. So depending on the time of day uh, or on a busier road, you might have more parked cars uh, and then vice versa. Sometimes you might just have fewer parked cars along the side of the road, which leads into the parking tickets. They've added a system where you can issue parking tickets to different vehicles depending on if they're blocking a fire hydrant, if they're parked in a no parking zone, things of that nature. When you place a parking ticket on the vehicle, it can be seen in red by other players online. So being an online game, they want to have PC and Mac support and they want to have that online universe crossplay between the two platforms. So they've been working on uh, building a system where a Mac player can play with a PC player and um, vice versa. Lastly, they mention about an art update. They say they're going to be working with an art studio for 3D models, as well as working with individual artists for certain game objects. And uh, they end off with saying there's going to continue to work on AI elements of the police role and they'll also be introducing a few new game mechanics to fire an EMS in the next few updates. So if you're interested in checking out this game, I'll leave a link to their website. You can uh, go check it out. Also, a link to their trailer down in the description below. They've had a couple of gameplay trailers released. Guys, I'm interested in what you, you guys think of this project. Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be bad? Let me know uh, in the comments below. Thanks for watching.